There are few things more special than a long drive through the Karoo. It's dotted with quaint little towns, and if you look closely, you're bound to find some hidden treasures. None more so than in state level, where beautifully restored classic cars turn heads and where the Karoo Theatrical Hotel provided Derek with some cheeky entertainment. My job, what I mean to make a I'm not lying. You ride with the men on an emotional roller coaster. Because you go through the same emotions. Ons allemaal het een storytje als die we om te vertellen. En hierdie is nou my story om te vertellen. En dat is wat ek van lijk. Vertel die mense wat, waarvan jy hou, wie jy is. Ons hoef nie vandag af in vandag sy leven nie een skaam te wees oor wie en wat ons is nie. Ons kan maar net ons sel wees. En dat is wat lekker is. I took one look at you and love came One single glance was all It's Valentine's Day and I'm on my way to the Eastern Cape to meet a couple who've found their unique place in the world doing what they love most From Kaberga the road takes us northwest to a hotel nestled between the Bavianskloof Mountains and the Great Karoo, where my hosts, Mark Hines and Jacques Rabi, are waiting. It's called the Karoo Theatrical Hotel, and from the outset it is clear this is no ordinary countryside setup. Ooh, I'm Charlie. I'm the, I'm the receptionist. Ooh, welcome to the State Law Theatrical Hotel, hey? Charlie is but one of the reasons why this offbeat little hotel is booked to capacity over weekends. Mark and Jacques offer a very different brand of Karoo entertainment. Fifteen years ago, we had a, a younger crowd here on a Saturday night, and then they want to book a New Year's party, and they wanted a cross-dressing party. So we said, fine, you can book the New Year's party. Sort of a Rocky Horror. Yeah, a Rocky Horror type of party. The like, and they said, well, don't, I want to do a cross-dressing show for them. I said, what? They said, yeah, please, please, the please, please. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, well, if you collect enough money amongst each other so I can buy the stuff that I need to, to do the show with, I was biggest pleasure did it, but I will do it for one night and one night only. It's now 15 years later, we're still doing it one night and one night only. <laughs> <laughs> that was the birth of the State Level Follies. My name is Dame Leila Lamborghini, and Mark is Freddy Ferrari. Having met in Cape Town in the early 2000s, Mark and Jacques decided to pack in city life in search of something more meaningful. I saw an ad which said hotel for sale in the uh, Eastern Cape. Yeah. That sounded really enticing. Yeah, and, and we both wanted to live in a massive big mansion of a home. Yeah. And it, 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 this just sounded perfect for us. And as we came around the shop, turned around the bend there, and we stopped the, the car, and we both actually fell in love. Years of hard work has transformed the once derelict building into this gem overlooking the town of Stateville. What about the good residents of Stateville? Did they take to this? In the beginning, they were not too keen to two men like us moving into town. They weren't too keen, but after the first matric farewell dress that I've designed and made, everybody loved us. <laughs> Despite his weakness for sequins, Jacques spent most of his life in the corporate world. And he has the South African military to thank for his sewing skills. I was working for the correctional services. And to become a lieutenant, you either have to have a degree or a diploma. So, but they never stipulate what you must study. So I thought, well, I'm going to go to the Technicon, Technicon of Pretoria. And there they did a course for a four-year course for fashion design and dressmaking. And I did it after hours. So, yeah. A handy skill for a Karuvian diva. I make all the costumes and it's a passion of mine keeps you busy. Oh, oh yes, I love doing it, and especially with all the sequins and 
embroidery on them. I, most of my dresses I hand embroider. I mean, I love cooking. I love doing garden work. I love sewing and I love doing this. It's not a job. I always said, if it's something that's your passion, then it's not work. Oh. I mean, it's like if, if Mark plays the piano, I mean, he plays the piano every day of his life. It's a passion. Mark, tell me about life before Jacques. Life before Jacques was pretty much focused on playing the piano, on doing my own show, my one my own one man show, um, which was basically a comedy combined with classical music. He even spent time as a circus clown performing across Europe. To go from the archetype of white faced clown in the circus to pairing up with a drag artist is is a pretty big step. <laughs> You've been married before? Never been married, no, no, no. Married to the piano, yeah. Married to the piano. <laughs> In fact, Mark has built up quite a collection of pianos over the years. Do you think you might at some stage run out of pianos? No. It's always a big worry. It's always a big worry. So no. I've always got my eye on whatever's out there on the market. And I have to, um, I get reprimanded quite often about that um, because I'm always on the verge of, of getting a track. And How many you got now? I've got 14 pianos altogether. 14, but yeah. space for a few more? I mean, there's... Oh, yeah, one could always build on. I mean... <laughs> Pianos are not Mark's only passion. He has a soft spot for antiques, art, and vintage cars. Elegant lady. She is. Princess Betty. Princess Betty. And what is Princess Betty? Princess Betty is a Vanden Pla. I remember them from Bulawayo. Do you? Yes. The big, round, voluptuous mm. ones. Yeah. Only for the rich folk. Yeah, yeah. So we're going for a little drive. They don't make them like they used to, eh? Do we have seat belts now? <laughs> and what better way to explore the town of State Level than in this beautifully restored 1963 classic? Archie Fisser, the poet, lived in that house. The town was established in 1876 by the Dutch Reformed Church to provide spiritual guidance to the local farmers of the area. The original church was later rebuilt and is considered to be the largest Edwardian church in Southern Africa. And that's why we've got this big wide main road so that the ox wagons could turn easily. And then of course the bulk of the houses were Nachmal Hases. Many of these original communion houses have been restored as more and more people are drawn by the countryside charm, putting towns like State Level back on the tourist map. Yeah, look at that. That's been beautifully restored. Um, recently sold to Germans, in fact. Back at the hotel, we find Jacques in the dressing room, undergoing a transformation, under the watchful eye of Charlie. I don't know how to do it, but in the next few minutes, I'm going to be a Years of practice makes it all look so effortless. I skip all the costs on the end for the show. I'm going to have to be in the shop that I'm sweat. It's been a long day and after hearing so much about it, I can't wait to finally watch the show. I'll be having presents while you're dining with the peasants. 
elke shout aan het thema. Als je die songs bij elkaar brengt en je luistert naar die woorden, dan zie je dit. Wow, dit is wat ik voor jou kan vertellen of wat Leila wil voor ons vertellen. be reinventing ourselves we'll always be reinventing the space it's growth life is about growth growing is moving forward the moment you stop that growth you stagnate yeah and there's still way too much sequins and glitter material still out there in the world that still needs to be used and to <laughs> turn into costumes so we we are going nowhere Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.